Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin, and today we have an unboxing. The uh, shipping box was really large, so it wouldn't fit on the table. Um, just took this box out of that box. Um, this watch was kindly lent in by Salzman's Watches. I'll leave a link in the description to the website and their Instagram account. If you could go follow them on Instagram and check out their website, I'd really appreciate it. And I really appreciate them sending over watches for us to check out. So this is an Oris uh, pointer date. I believe this one has the blue dial with the, I think it's called the 403 or 503, 503 movement. I forgot exactly, but uh, we'll check it out here together. Uh, oh, that was just the side of the box falling over there. 400, so it must be the 403 movement. Uh, so yeah, so the new caliber 400 uh, should be good for I think 120 hours. Yep, right there, five days of power reserve, uh, 10 year warranty, anti-magnetic, uh, very cool movement. I believe it's all in house, uh, their own design. So yeah, um, all right, enough with the manual. Let's take a look at the watch here. Set this stuff off to the side. Looks like there's another manual down here, which I won't really look at. Box is made using environmentally friendly materials. That's a nice touch. Actually, let me set this to the side. It's a little heavier than I was expecting with that manual in there. What do they have going on here? Yeah, it's just kind of a tight fit. Yeah, that is cool. Very nice. Or as pointer date, big crown. One of my first luxury watches. I don't know if that was my first one, but I've had this watch for a long time. It's an Oris. It's so old, doesn't even have the red rotor to it. Um, anyway, let's check this watch out. Very cool. So looking at $3,400 MSRP on this watch, uh, there's a QR code. I don't know if you can scan that from the video or not. You can, you can try. So that's cool. Okay, let's uh, get this off of the watch roll and take a closer look at it. I want to... Oh, let's see here. What's the best way to get this off of here without... There we go. I'm be very gentle with these watches, especially considering it's not mine. Okay, let's. Uh, there we go. Sorry about the noise from that hang tag. Okay, let's zoom in on the dial here. Oop, zoomed away in there. Move this box off to the side. Sorry about all the noise. Very cool. So we have a sub second there. That's probably why it's the 403 movement. And then perhaps, uh, yeah, added complication for the pointer date there. I'm assuming they must just uh, Put the dial farther down in the movement and then move the date wheel up onto that uh, center center spindle somehow i don't know how they do that exactly but yeah it looks i guess it looks blue it's a very dark blue i'll have to take it outside and uh, get some pictures up on instagram okay so it's a screw down crown Some winding going on there. Okay, yeah, so first position is winding. Second position would be date set, which I don't want to do because of that. So I want to move the handset, move it to six o'clock. Uh, usually between, I think, 10 and 2, you don't want to change the date. It's the danger zone. Okay, there we go, six o'clock. So let's move that date hand around. Nope, back in winding. There we go. 
Sorry, so this has quite a dome to it, so you're picking up my studio lights on uh, all three sides there. Okay, so the pointer date is uh, at the bottom of the stack there. Yeah, very neat. All right, let me uh, let's put it back to 1010. We'll flip it over and check out the movement. I believe this is a 38 millimeter watch, so it should be good on my six and a half inch wrist. Yeah, very cool. Let's flip it over and look, get a better look at the balance wheel. I really like looking at the mechanical movements. Even if they're not decorated, I still like to look at them. Not much decoration on this one here. It just looks to be a brushed finish. But it's still cool to look at. 120 hours of power reserve is uh, amazing. Okay, let's see if we can read what it says on the case back here. Stainless steel, sapphire crystal. Oh, let's see. Water resistant five bar, 50 meter. And then there's a model number. And then Oris Holstein. Okay, let me put this on my wrist and we'll close out the video. Let's zoom back out here. Um, wearing the Submariner today. Really like this watch. Really think about selling like almost all my collection and just keeping that one. You know, let me take these off real quick. Let me pause the video. Okay, got those off. Just um, wasn't too big of a deal. Didn't want to Make you guys wait for that. Um, in here we have quick release straps here. And these taper down a fair amount too, so that's nice. Okay, let's put this on wrist. I'm just gonna put this on for video. I'm not not really gonna wear it around. Always very uh, very cautious about wearing a watch that isn't mine uh, that's on loan like this, especially since this looks like it's uh, brand new. So. Uh, I don't want to cinch this down too much either. There we go. Strap feels very nice. Nice and soft. Looks kind of vintage styling with that um, stitching right there. Doesn't have the stitching up there like you would normally see on a vintage type strap. But this is a nice looking watch all around. Very nice. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it and it really helps me out. So let me know what you guys think of this watch. Um, $3,400. It kind of makes sense because of the, the movement. Um, I had in an Oris on loan from Salzman's. The Oris uh, Aquis, Aquis, however you want to pronounce it. I think that was over $3,000 too. And then the one without the 400 movement uh, was, I think, $1,000 or $1,400 less. But... Okay, let's zoom in a little bit, and then we'll close out the video. I don't know if it has loom on it. I guess we'll take a look at that for the... Yeah, there's little loom pips right there. Looks like it. Oh, let's see here. Oh, maybe with the handset, too. You know what? Let me, uh, let's check out the loom. I don't normally do this on unboxings, but... Yeah, so it looks like the... Um, Arabics are loomed as well. So very cool. Was not expecting that at all. Let's get the lights back on. The main lights, I should say. All right, that will conclude this unboxing. Sorry, I went a little bit longer than what I usually do. Um, but as always, thank you for your time and thank you for watching.